Well, hi there, N7TFB here. This is a video about how to call CQ. Well, if you're not a ham radio enthusiast or a ham radio operator, you probably don't know what it means to call CQ, and you're probably wondering, what does CQ mean? And I'm not saying seek you like two words, I'm saying the letters C and Q when, I, when I'm talking about CQ. And what it is, is it's originally a Morse code uh, abbreviation for calling anyone. So that's what CQ means. Now in ham radio we use these letters, the C and the Q together, in Morse code still today, but we also use them when we're using voice modes, that is, when we're actually talking on the radio, to uh, abbreviate for saying, calling anyone. Calling CQ is the easiest way to get on the radio and talk to somebody. If you're not tuning around the bands looking for someone else calling CQ, you can find a clear frequency and call CQ and see if someone out there hears you. Let's see what happens when we look for a couple of CQ calls right now. Okay, so we're tuning around on 20 meters right now. It's about 3.15 uh, in the afternoon, and it's uh, the end of November, and so um, things are pretty quiet. It's, we don't have a whole lot of summertime noise, which is uh, not unusual at this location, but uh, we'll see if we can uh, find anybody here. Well, we didn't have any success calling or uh, looking for CQ callers, so we're going to go ahead and find a clear frequency and call CQ ourselves. Let's see here. First, we have to find a nice clear frequency that's within our uh, legal operating range, and I'm an extra, so I've got quite a bit of uh, bandwidth to utilize here. But I'm going to go and look into the uh, general area, because there's usually more stations there. We'll find a clear frequency now. And generally, I like to stop on even numbers, because it makes it easier for people with nice digital displays to tune in on my signal quickly. It would be unusual for me to call CQ on an odd frequency like this, because people would think that I'd really be calling perhaps on this frequency, or maybe this frequency. Um, so, to make it simpler for people to tune in quickly and efficiently, we usually call CQ on even numbers. Although it's not required, it's just generally a good operating practice. Okay, this looks like a good frequency. I don't hear anybody here. Before I call CQ, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to check and see if there's anybody using this frequency. This is N7TFP. Is anybody using this frequency? Uh, CQ, CQ, this is N7TFP. Is the frequency available? Okay, hearing nothing, this is N7TFP. November 7, Tango Foxtrot Papa calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Hello, CQ 20 meters. CQ 20 meters, this is N7TFP. November 7, Tango Foxtrot Papa calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Hello, CQ, CQ, CQ. This is N7TFP, calling CQ and listening. Kilo Delta 6 Sierra Tango. Kilo Delta 6 Sierra Tango, is that correct? Uh, that's affirmative. Kilo Delta 6 Sierra Tango, thank you for coming back. Tell me the name is Bill, over. Okay, good afternoon, Bill. This is Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R. Tyler up here in the Seattle, Washington area. And uh, very good afternoon to you. I'm in the process of filming a, uh, a video for YouTube, for my YouTube channel here, on how to call CQ and proper CQ calling procedures. Over. Well, you're doing just fine, Tyler. You're doing just fine. Uh, no problem there at all. Um, yeah, I certainly will. Um, I'll be turning on uh, 
Certainly on the machine a little later, and we'll look for your call sign and uh, uh, look for the for the good work that you're doing. Thank you again for coming back. 73. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, Tyler. And we'll listen for you again. At 70 FP, TD6 ST will be clear. KD6 ST from N7 TFP 73's Bill, and again, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. This is N7 TFP clear. So you can see, calling CQ in an efficient manner is a great way of generating responses. Hams are less likely to respond to a CQ call if it's excessively slow, excessively fast, or excessively long. Calling CQ for about 20 seconds or so is about as long as I would go without listening for someone to respond. If someone finds your, your CQ call on the bands and sits there and waits and waits for you to stop transmitting, they're more likely to move on. So I call CQ for about 20, 20 seconds at most, and I make sure and give my call sign right before I end, and once in a while I'll give my location in case people with directional antennas are going to turn their, uh, turn their antennas. It's important also when you're picking a frequency to call CQ to make sure that one, uh, you're legal to transmit on that band, and two, that the band or the frequency is clear. Um, when you call CQ after just finding a clear frequency immediately without stopping to listen, it can be kind of like interrupting another uh, QSO that's already in progress, because you might only be able to hear one of the stations out of the two that are involved in the QSO. So in fact, you could be stepping on top of someone you can't even hear. So it's important to make sure the frequency is clear and ask. If you're not sure, just throw out, a, uh, throw out an interrogative and say, hello, is this frequency in use? And every now and then, I'll get a reply and I'll move to another frequency. So I hope that's answered a few of your questions or maybe resolved a myth or two about calling CQ. And get on the band today. Try it out. Call CQ because somebody has to. Otherwise, we'd never be talking to anyone. I'm N7TFP. Thanks for watching. If you've still got a question that I didn't answer in this video, go to my website or send me an email. My website's www.n7tfp.com. 73s.